Ah, yes. The breadboard. Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, we're going to take a regular breadboard and make a PCB version. You know, basically like a proto board type of deal. So, in order to do that, we need to know a few things like how many columns we have here. There's 30. How many rows? There's five. And then, of course, we need to know the spacing between them, which I'm pretty sure is 2.5. Four millimeters or you know tenth of an inch hmm. so let's get two point five four millimeters on here come on Oh, 2.55, too much. 5.3, not enough. Put a little drag on there. There we go, 2.54. Got her locked in. Well, it doesn't look to me like it's going quite right, but... Let's check pin headers. I guess from the outside it works. Oh, you can't see that. Yeah, it lines up right on top of them. Let me zoom in even more. You'll be able to see it. So we're at uh, 2.53 there. Had it at 2.54, but you know. There we go. Now we're back at 2.54. So if we put that on there. Trying to get a good angle for you. You can see they line up. So 2.54 in each direction. And then we need to know how many across the uncanny valley. So it's four pin spaces across from one to the next in the valley. All right, let's go and uh, draw it up and see if we can't make some. Okay, first thing I want to do is I just want to check my spacing. Yeah, I don't know how I got messed up like that. Let's try this again. So what I really want to know is the space between these little squares here. Let's zoom in and we'll get right on it. So there you go, 2.5 and 2.5. So it's 2.5 each way. All right. So we're good. Depending on what uh, design software you're using, you may have to make some adjustments. Now, we're not using a schematic capture here. We're just drawing directly onto the breadboard layer. So I am going to draw on the top layer. Let me get my... Uh, <laughs> let it bounce around here. Let me get my, there we go. Bring this in here so you can see it along with my drawing tools. So we are on the top layer. You can tell because we have the pencil in the top layer. And then what we want here is a pad. So there's a pad. And we're going to have two different types of setups. 
I'm going to put them right on the intersections and they should each yep, see I missed I was off on that one that's the one thing you really got to be careful about in your design is that you get everything right where you want it So I'll do five of these, just for fun. Okay. Then I'm just going to copy them. Then I can just paste and go along as far as I want. This is, like I said, this is just for demonstration. So this would be like for our power rails both ground and VCC so we'll do two of these and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the bottom layer you don't have to do the bottom layer, you can do it on the top layer I'm just going to do it on the bottom layer and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add tracks they go horizontally between each of the pins or pads rather like so So there we have our horizontal pins for VCC and ground. Then we're going to come back in here, grab our pad again, get right up on here. One, two, three, four, five. And then, well, I won't do tracks yet. What I'll do is I'll copy these again. And then paste. Making sure I got right on my line so that everything lines up really. I'm just going to do three of these. And I'm only going to do one row of this. Well, I'll do them all so you get the idea. It only takes a second, right? So we're doing these vertical. These are where we will put our components. like that and then we have these rows down here horizontal which will be for our uh, power and ground so we want to put labels on them so we want that to be on the top silkscreen layer let's use our text tool I'm just going to say uh, oops. I'll select it so that's ground I see that's too big. See how big that is? So whatever software you're using, just figure out how to change it. That's at 2.032. I'm going to change it to, let's say, 1.6. Still a little too much. Let's go to 1.4. Let's go 1.2. There we go. And then I'm just going to make sure I'm kind of lined up like that do it again up here and of course change our nomenclature boom like that again this was just a simple demonstration 
Now let me show you the actual board that I've laid out. Okay, so let's start from the bottom. We have our outline. Then I've added in the holes. And you can see here we also have two mounting holes. Our top layer, our bottom layer. We'll also put in our uh, top paste, bottom paste, top mask, solder mask, bottom solder mask layers. So there it is, and you can see our layout. I have taken. Well, let me let me put in. Let me just put in all the layers now. I'll leave that one off for a minute. You can see on this side I've got ground running over to here and then on this side I've got VCC running to here. The reason I did that is just so you don't have to have jumpers going back and forth across the board. So let me shut off everything except our silk layer and our outline. So there you can see now an, a good idea. This is the top silk layer. We have ground VCC, VCC ground, and then we have our column labels on both the top and the bottom. Then we just have our board layer in here, and this is a heavy duty board which I'll show you. I'll turn that off, and then the bottom layer which is reversed, I've just used the PCB Way logo because PCB Way is the sponsor of this video and the sponsor of my channel and uh, if you're looking for PCB to get manufactured they do five boards for five dollars have to be under 100 millimeters and you can get them in about five days shipping not included but hey five boards for five bucks ten years ago I had to choke somebody to get something like that so that's a great deal check them out pcbway.com and uh, I will put the Gerbers for this board up there under their sharing and I'll post a link to it in the description down below. So if you want one of these proto boards, you can get one yourself. All right, so all I have to do now is make my Gerbers. It's going to be different for each board, but uh, hold on, let's take a uh, let's take a look at a 3D view of this. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you've already seen this. It's been there for about a week or so, but uh. Give you an idea what the board looks like. And this is simply a proto board that you can, you know, put your components in, take them from the breadboard, put them here, solder them up. It's a m more semi permanent version of a breadboard. It's not as permanent as, um, you know, making your own PCB design. But this would be like the second step because it make it easier to change things around if you needed to. All right. So I will order the Gerbers from PCB Way. We'll get them shipped, and uh, I'll see you guys in about five days, which should be somewhere around. You can see I made this on uh, August 25th, so it should be somewhere around 1st of September would be my guess. All right, see you then. So it is August 31st, and there we go. Ten boards from PCB Way. Take a look at that, man. That is thicker than a snicker. There's a uh, Arduino Nano, which is a standard 1.6 millimeter board. You can see this two millimeter board is much thicker. Heavy duty, one might call it. <laughs> one did call it that. But if you get a close up look here, it is. same size as one of these and we'll check the interconnects here in a second to make sure they work but I wanted to make sure that you can get an Arduino in there and you can what helps if your Arduino legs are straight this one's seen a bit of use and uh, legs are a little bent let me see if I can't coax them in there there we go so you can get an Arduino in there you can get standard ICs in there I mean it's just like a breadboard but you can solder things in making it more permanent and more sturdy 
but unlike a PCB where everything is, you know, pretty much determined as that's where the traces run, you can make your own traces here. You know, of course, all of our rows are connected. A, B, you know, just connected. You know, just like Mom used to make back in the day. And these are connected across here, so there they are. I got 10 of them. I'm going to send them out to patrons. But uh, there's a link down below if uh, you want to order some of these from PCB Way. PCB Way has been a great company to work with over this past year. The boards are top notch. The service is great. I highly recommend you check them out. And if you think they're right for you, you know, please give them a uh, give them a go. All right. Hope you enjoyed this. We are at a little over 92,000 subscribers. When we get to 100,000 subscribers, we are going to have some giveaways. We've got an Arduino and Raspberry Pi kind of starter kitty thing. We've got a 65 watt temperature controlled soldering station. There's going to be some other stuff too. Maybe, uh, maybe even that. That's a sneak preview. Not my calipers. Can't have my calipers. But that, maybe. We'll see. But only if you subscribe. If you don't subscribe, there won't be a giveaway at 100,000 because we'll never get to 100,000. So subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.